Having the right blade on your table saw can affect the performance of the saw, the quality of the cut, and safety. Stock blades that come on a table saw are traditionally combination blades, which can rip and cross cut, but don't do either especially well. Manufacturers produce a variety of blades, starting with the combination blade that we just talked about, but you can buy blades specific to the task for ripping or cross cutting. The typical makeup of a table saw blade is the steel plate, carbide teeth, various cuts around the perimeter that help reduce any vibration, a few more cuts around the outer perimeter that help reduce any heat buildup, and in the center, a 5 8 arbor hole. Turning the blade on edge, you can see the carbide teeth. The thickness taken away as you make a pass with the saw is also known as the kerf. You have thick kerf and thin kerf blades. Thin kerf blades are great because they meet less resistance because they take less material. And on the top, you have an applied coating that helps reduce friction. On a less expensive blade, the carbide teeth are going to be smaller and softer. You don't really have the ability to resharpen this if you wanted to. On a more expensive blade, you'll notice that the carbide teeth are harder and thicker that gives you the ability to resharpen it multiple times. And lastly, we have the gullet of the blade, which is the space between the teeth. On a rip blade, it's rather large. On a crosscut blade, it's smaller. And on a combination blade, you have both. And now let's talk about tooth geometry, where blades really get specialized. We have FTG, which is flat top grind. It holds its edge really well and is great for ripping. This is a TCG, a triple chip grind, and this is great for a smooth finish. ATB, alternating top bevel. You can see that the teeth bevel in a different direction. This is great for a smooth cross cut. This is a combination blade. It has an ATB, alternating top bevel, with an FTG, a flat top grind, and a large gullet for a smooth rip. And lastly, we'll talk about the hook angle of the blade, which is the orientation of the carbide to the center of the blade at the arbor. On this rip blade, you can see it has a really strong hook and that's for removing material very quickly and below on this cross cut saw you can see that there's a really soft angle. My advice to anyone who's in the market for a new table saw blade is buy the best blade that you can that fits your budget and will help you tackle the tasks that you take on the most. Have multiple blades for different types of material and don't be afraid to swap them out when you need to. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.